This is an introductory training video for MusicPad, the last of the functionalities of Song Surgeon to be developed and implemented for version 3. It is a feature exclusively found in the Pro version. MusicPad, which can be accessed through this button, is a feature within Song Surgeon that enables you to create and store notes, tabs, or standard music notation. When you save your work as a project file, and project files are SSP files, the internal file format used by Song Surgeon. The data you create is saved and then when the file is opened at a later point in time the data is recalled for your use. Song Surgeon is not a music score program so don't expect MusicPad to replace programs like Sibelius, Finale, or MuseScore. Unlike these programs, MusicPad is not a standalone program but rather a functionality built into Song Surgeon that allows you to create and store and recall music related information. We have built MusicPad with flexibility in mind so it shouldn't matter what instrument you play you should be able to use MusicPad to create tabs or more standard music notation for that instrument. This written documentation is obviously useful when trying to learn new material and trying to recall what you practiced or worked on last time you were working with a particular song or file that you had open. You can see a picture of MusicPad here on the screen. I like to go ahead and just quickly take a look at some of the types of things that you can create in MusicPad. Here at the top is some tablature that was created in MusicPad for a guitar. The next thing here is drum tablature and you can certainly create this in MusicPad or as I did here you can copy this type of text from many of the websites that are available that offer tabs whether it's guitar or drum or any other type of tab and you can copy and paste that into MusicPad. Here's another type of tablature again for a guitar and this is something that I did not create but rather copied from an external website. Again we're copying text not image files. So we copy the text and we paste it into Song Surgeon and this is what it looks like. And then lastly here's an example of more standard or conventional looking music notation or sheet music if you will. And this is something that we did create in MusicPad. And again, all of this information, once it has been created, is stored anytime you save a file. So lastly, what I'd like to do here in this introductory video is to just take a few minutes and go through the toolbars that are located up at the top here. And there are really three different toolbars. One, the first one is right here and I call this the main toolbar and then there is what I call the tab toolbar and then down here is what I would call the standard music notation toolbar. So there are three toolbars and I'd like to go through each of these buttons relatively quickly with you. Um, I'd also like to reference for you the help button in Song Surgeon because from that help button you can access what we call the quick start guide and the quick start guide has been updated and it will contain a written um, overview of all of these buttons and what they do so if you're looking for written documentation I would encourage you to print that quick start guide uh, again from the help button or it also can be accessed through our website okay so starting at the top here this is a button which simply toggles you back to song surgeon so uh, when you click it, it takes you back to Song Surgeon. If you want to go back to MusicPad, you click MusicPad from the Song Surgeon main GUI and it takes you back here to MusicPad. This button toggles the standard music notation toolbar. So if you don't want to use that, you can simply click that and that toolbar is hidden. This next button is for the tablature toolbar. And if you click it, you'll watch over here that this toolbar disappears. The next button is a uh, preview button so if you want to see what this would look like in a preview mode before you print it you select this. This is a um, print settings button. It will open the print settings on your printer. This is simply the print icon and then these are um, undo and redo buttons. Second set of buttons over here then are for 
the creation of tablature largely. Now I say that, but I would also tell you that you may find some of the functionalities in this toolbar down here, which is for classic music notation. You may find some of these also useful or helpful when it comes to the tablature, but by and large you're going to be using these for tablature. And what we have here is simply a um, button that will open a text box and it will allow you to enter text into that text box. It will also allow you to copy and paste text into that text box. This next one is the tablature fingering chart which essentially when you click it will allow you to draw two strings, three strings, four strings. You know if you're doing uh, bass guitar that's four strings. If you're doing um, uh, a dobro for instance it could be three strings. If you're uh, regular guitar it could be it would be six strings and there may be other variations so this allows you to create um, strings um, like I did here and you could draw two three four five six however many you wanted to this button is not going to appear on the version of music pad that you have we're removing it um, this next button is a uh, symbols key in other words we understand that every type of tablature has a different set of symbols. Um, in this case you have a B, you have an H, you have a P, you know, for bend, hammer on, pull off. Even amongst guitarists some of the ways in which this tablature is put together changes. So what we've done is to create a set of keys here that allows you to customize those keys so if you wanted to refer to the the stored notation for how to interpret this tablature it's stored in here for example we have preloaded guitar drums drum kit cymbals harmonica so um, if you look at those there will be standard symbols and the definition for what those symbols mean and again you have the ability to customize those this last button is to draw a line of indeterminate length in other words an end line like this for example and you can resize it um, the button I think is going to look slightly differently in the final version but nonetheless that's what that button is for. So that concludes this second toolbar and now let's move to the third toolbar which is the toolbar for more standard or classical music notation. Um, this first button T stands for text. It is a different type of a text tool than this tool up here. Again we'll go into that in more detail later on. This is a staff button so if you click it and go down here it will actually draw a staff um, that would look like this. This allows you to select a clef and drop it in here. This allows you to select timing uh, in terms of a tempo. This is obviously the time signature and you can select from a variety of those sharps, flats, um, repeat signs, um, a measure break and then we have here all of the normal types of notes that you might need um, all the way down to 128th. We have a dot for a dotted note. We have a triplicate and we have a tie here. So that's what those all are. And lastly if you're wondering where are the rests for example like this or like this here you can access those by holding down the control key and when you do so you'll see that the notes that are here all change to rests as you can see right here. So that is a brief introductory overview of MusicPad and of the three, three toolbars that it features. I would encourage you to watch the subsequent training videos that you can find on our site. And in each of those training videos, we'll try to go through each of these different functionalities in much more detail. Thank you.